As I'm recording this video, I haven't watched AEW in like two months and a half. The last thing I have watched is basically the Dynamite after World's End. And basically the last thing I have watched seriously was the World's End. There are a lot of reasons why I stopped watching AEW. One of the reasons, the main one, is that I don't have enough time to watch Raw, SmackDown, NXT, AEW Dynamite, AEW Collision, AEW Rampage, AEW Pay-Per-Views, WWE Pay-Per-Views. It became too much. With the time I started watching the shows and the pay-per-views a little bit differently because as I said a couple of times, the matches themselves are not very interesting for me. There are a couple of matches that are interesting for me, for example, the New Catch Republic versus the Judgment Day. And some matches I'm watching end to end, but most of the time I'm skipping the matches, which leaves me with more time nowadays to watch. But I stopped watching AEW for different reasons as well. So let's just jump into it. I'm just gonna say the biggest reason right now without jumping into it. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna explain why this is actually the biggest reason. The first reason, the most important reason, is that MJF left the company. Basically, the world's end was MJF's last match and is where MJF lost the title and is where Adam Cole was revealed as the devil. The second reason is actually that devil reveal. For months and months, we were having this storyline with the devil making fun of MJF, playing tricks with MJF, and, and Roderick Strong was involved in it, and the Kingdom was involved in it, and Samoa Joe was involved in it, and somehow Hangman Adam Page was involved in it, and everyone kinda knew that the devil is gonna be Adam Cole, even though everyone thought that this might be CM Punk, but everyone knew, and even though everyone knew, it was shocking, it was cool if you think about it, storyline wise it's great, but for some reason when it happened it felt empty, it felt shallow, it felt like, like nothing actually makes sense, even though everything makes sense. You know what I'm trying to say? It didn't satisfy me. Maybe it's on a personal level, I don't know how you guys feel, about the Undisputed Kingdom, but for me personally, I felt disgusted in a way, even though I was really happy with this story, but I don't know, it's just, I cannot even put it into words, it's, it was really strange. Another reason why I stopped watching is the position of Wardlow, where Wardlow is going week to week to week, making these promo packages, how he's back, how he's demolishing people, how he's at the top of his game, how he's going through everyone, and at the end he ends up in the Undisputed Kingdom as a bodyguard of Adam Cole. Look, I haven't watched AEW in two months and I don't know what is the storyline with him now, maybe at this point he turned his back on Cole and he's demolishing the Undisputed Kingdom, but back in the day it doesn't make any sense for him to be a, just a bodyguard in another faction. He just started going on and he's back in a faction? What the heck is going on? Roderick Strong and the Kingdom and they're behind Adam Cole again. Maybe this is the reason why it felt so unsatisfying because we had all these moving pieces that separately the, we know that they're mid-card and we know that they're weak, but they started going somewhere. And maybe I saw that whenever the Undisputed Kingdom got born, all of these pieces that just started getting stronger and stronger and stronger and get their own character, they just have been lost in this whole unit that is behind Adam Cole which is a little bit sad because Adam Cole can always go over and he can survive and he can do whatever he wants and now he just wasting these people that are having some potential, but I don't know. 
Another reason I stopped watching AEW is the whole saga with Adam Copeland and Christian and how they lost one of the most interesting storyline potentials ever. As I said, I haven't been watching the show for two months and I'm not sure what is happening now. Probably the feud is continuing, but they had like three matches where Adam Copeland gets completely robbed and they're making some kind of story that they're pulling out of their ass and the finish is scuffed. Uh, some moves of some characters doesn't make any sense like the mother of Nick Wayne like jumping ship to Christian doesn't make any sense kill switch staying with Christian doesn't make any sense Adam Copeland just won the title for a couple of minutes oh what is going on man I'm gonna freaking cry another very minor reason I have stopped is the whole thing with CJ Perry coming to AW and she's again involved in a story with her husband Miro and Andrade and I know that Andrade right now is on Raw but he was not a couple months ago and he was involved in that love angle that is a work relationship angle and I don't know what is going on and also I'm sick and tired of watching Penta opening every freaking show in the world making maneuver after maneuver after maneuver after maneuver dude what the heck am I watching am I watching the circus or wrestling which one is it last but not least I said that I want to talk about MJF and I'm gonna talk about MJF MJF with all due respect to everyone in the company all the veterans all the people inside and everyone true and true he's the person who understood this business the most he understood that it doesn't matter how good of a wrestler you are you need to put asses into seats and this is what he did he was moving the storyline with Adam Cole he was moving probably six storylines at the same time he had a broken ass body and he was giving everything he can in the ring he was able to make people hype for kangaroo kick for just a simple drop kick he was able to make people hype for a leg drop for every single move he was doing in the ring people were getting hype and he was understanding that it doesn't matter if you're doing a moonsault or a simple punch you can build a hype about it and people can go nuts about it and the wrestling part is not that important and I really loved MJF and I'm really sad that he's out and as I said he's not the main reason I'm not watching AEW but he's a big reason and I kind of wanted for the next two months him to recover and him to go back to AEW or go to WWE and I think maybe I'm gonna do another video about MJF but I think he should go back to AEW I think he can support the brand and make it actually competitor to WWE but we'll see what's gonna happen but yeah I'm not watching AEW now but with this video I'm gonna start watching AEW again because I want to explore all the world of professional wrestling and I want to see potential storylines potential feuds potential dream matches and all of that good stuff so with that being said thank you guys so much for watching and i'm gonna see you in the next one peace